The pictures posted to Sutton Elementary's Twitter page show Manuel Ponce in his teaching environment, playful and even a teacher of the year. Is there anything to say to the parents or kids? But a different story was painted before a judge today. Court documents show Ponce is accused of sexually abusing eight of his second grade students. The allegations go back to 2021. Many have a similar story, alleging he'd send the class out for a bathroom break, but keep a little girl behind and either touch her inside or outside of her underwear. Some of the children said it happened repeatedly for months. My client is presumed innocent. Today, Ponzi's lawyer said this. There is a lot of trouble apparently with the DA's case, at least at this point. What do you mean by troubles? What do you mean I'm you can't just say that? Court documents show some students came forward after news broke about the allegations when their parents asked them. There are many reasons why a, a child might not disclose. In the beginning, shame is definitely one of them. Dr. Whitney Krausen, a clinical psychologist with the Children's Assessment Center, isn't commenting specifically on this case, but says in general, empowering children to fight abuse begins when they're still babies. If you're just changing a diaper and narrating a little bit what you're doing, you're bringing, um, you're bringing light and openness to, um, to these areas of the body that oftentimes create embarrassment, shame, secrecy, um, all, all the, the things that we don't want to see when discussing those, those topics. Does that include using the proper names for our body parts? Absolutely, yes. If we don't use the proper names, then uh, we're sending a message that they aren't safe to talk about. Also teaching children, no one should touch them there and... It's okay to say no to adults if what they're doing is hurtful to you or if it is inappropriate. And no matter what... Just letting them know you can tell me you won't be in trouble and I'll believe you. Yeah, I'll believe you. Powerful words. Meanwhile, Manuel Ponce is now out of jail on a $200,000 bond and isn't scheduled to be back in court until his trial later on. Okay, so Lauren, here's the thing. It can be hard to talk to kids mm -hmm. about abuse, as, as we heard the woman say, especially the actual wording. This is critical here. Yeah, you know, parents can feel embarrassed too and that makes and uncomfortable. That, yeah, and that makes that conversation hard, but there are so many wonderful books for kids and adults that can help make that conversation a little bit easier. I put a full list on our website khu.com so you can go ahead and check them out.